The Spanning Tree Protocol, or STP, is a network protocol that prevents loops by blocking links in your Ethernet network. We'll talk about how to configure STP settings on switches on this edition of Tech Talks next. STP protects Layer 2 broadcast domains from broadcast storms by setting links to standby mode to prevent loops. In standby mode, these links temporarily stop transferring user data. To make data transfer possible after the topology changes, the links are automatically reactivated. Network loops happen when there are alternate routes between hosts. This causes Layer 2 switches to forward traffic across the network and reduces network efficiency. Let's take a closer look at how to configure spanning tree properties. First, log into the Switch console. Enter your credentials. The default username is Cisco, and so is the password. From the privileged exec mode of the switch, enter the global configuration mode by entering the following. To enable STP functionality on the switch, enter. To configure the STP protocol to run on the switch, enter the following. The three options are STP, which provides a single path between any two endpoints to eliminate and prevent networking loops, RSTP, which detects network topologies to provide faster convergence of the spanning tree. This is the default option. And MST, which detects layer two loops and attempts to mitigate them by preventing the port from transmitting traffic. I'll use RSTP in this example. To set the default path cost method, enter the following. Here your options for specifying the value for port path costs are long with a range from 1 to 200 million, or short, with a range from 1 to 65,535. To configure the switch STP priority, which is used to determine which bridge is selected as the root bridge, enter. The priority number specifies the bridge priority with a range from 0 to 61,440. This example uses 32,768. An optional step involves how often the switch broadcasts the hello messages to other devices. To do so, enter the following. In this example, the default of two seconds is used. Another option is to configure the STP maximum age. For this example, I'll use the default value of 20 seconds. You also have the option to configure the STP bridge forward time, which is the amount of time a port remains in the listening and learning stages before entering the forwarding state. I'll use the default value of 15 seconds. To enable STP loopback guard, enter the following. Now enter the exit command to go back to the privileged exec mode. To display the STP settings on the switch, enter show spanning tree. In the privileged exec mode, save the configured settings to the startup configuration file by entering copy running, config startup config. Finally, press Y for yes or N for no once the overwrite files prompt appears. Pat yourself on the back. You have now successfully configured the STP settings on your switch. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.